In this topic, we will discuss about May Turner syndrome or iliac vein compression syndrome. Usually, it is the left iliac vein which is compressed by the right iliac artery. The compression increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis. Other names for the syndrome are iliac vein compression syndrome and cockett syndrome. Obstruction may cause varicosities in the affected limb and ulcers due to chronic venous stasis. The pulsations of the overlying artery cause intimal hypertrophy of the vein which adds to the severity of obstruction. Some reports show that deep vein thrombosis occurs 3 to 8 times more commonly on the left side. The original report was from May R. and Turner J. in 1957. May Turner syndrome should be thought of in the differential diagnosis of edema of the left leg and the diagnosis can be confirmed by venography. A report of right-sided cockett syndrome was described by DuPont and Associates. According to these authors, Cockett and Thomas described iliac vein compression syndrome and named Cockett syndrome in 1965. It was seen on the left side and mostly in women during second to fourth decade. The patient presented by DuPont and Associates had a non-complicated right-sided Cockett syndrome which was successfully treated with balloon dilatation and stenting of right common iliac vein. Patient improved and was fine at 6 month follow up. Since May Turner syndrome is a progressive disease, surgical options like vein patch angioplasty and repositioning of the iliac artery have been tried in the past. Implantation of a self expanding stent in the iliac vein is another option as described above. Zhu and colleagues reported mid-term and long-term data of 412 patients with Cockett syndrome. Of these, 231 had acute left iliac femoral vein thrombosis, while 181 had chronic venous insufficiency. Endovascular treatment with venous tending had good mid-term and long-term results. Follow-up period ranged from 3 months to 8 years. 89 patients who had valvular incompetence of left superficial femoral vein needed a second stage femoral valve repair. Here are some important journal references on the topic. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.